Hello everyone, you're watching Good Vibes Julie and I'm Julie. Jim Rohn, the great um, speaker, conference maker said, um, motivation is what gets you started, habit is what keeps you going. We've spoken in um, a previous video about habits and today we're going to discuss about motivation. So stay tuned and I'm back in a few seconds. See you. Motivation is a great topic. As a matter of fact, uh, motivation is something that comes and goes. It's never here when we need it the most and when it's here, uh, we don't have it for um, an enough period of time so we can do what we want it to do. So um, motivation is very volatile. It's there and then it disappears. Um, and what we want to, to understand today is how we can keep things going. Motivation is something that's going to enter your life when you have a clear goal. So on the importance of having a goal or goals for your life to shape your life the way you want it, to achieve short-term, mid-term, long-term goals, uh, to just fulfill what you believe could bring you a lot of happiness um, for the next month, the next year, the next, uh, this life simply so having goals is very important because it keeps you going it keeps you moving um, <clears throat> you you have less of this moment where you feel bored because you always have something to look for you always have something to work on and this can be very motivating so having goals is something that is very motivating so what kind of goals which goals are we talking about having goals can be uh, very broad because some people have goals for up to the rest of their life and they don't really know how they're gonna make it happen because we can be at the very beginning of our life and then hopefully we still have so many years ahead of us that we need to get organized and we need to get started so it could be a career it could be family wise it could be some um, so something that would be short term in the next one or two months that could be a, a vacation a trip a new country uh, it could be a new language that you would like to learn so maybe you would like to allow it six months to one year maybe a little bit more it could be a new practice uh, new skills it could be whatever you want as long as it makes you feel good and happy so a goal or goals in general should be things that are um, for you you are going to be motivated to go and reach these goals if they are yours not something that have been imposed by others I think it's a little bit uh, logic but I thought it was very important to remind us of this because many many times especially when we are a little bit younger but even as we grow up and grow old uh, we're always tempted to listen to what people say around us because they love us and because we believe that they might have some um, glimpse of tr truth uh, about us uh, but the truth is that we know ourselves better and we know what makes sense for us so um, that's why I would advise listen to yourself, listen to your intuitions when it comes to the goals you want to set for yourself. Um, next, your goals shall be something that you state uh, in a positive way and that you state um, in an affirmative present tense. Um, so when you want to achieve something, you shall have a clear date in mind that you set. It's important that you allow yourself a reasonable uh, amount of time and that you say to yourself, okay, but by this very precise date, I'm going to be done. I'm going to accomplish that goal and it shall be in the present tense. For example, um, if I want to learn, I don't know, Chinese, I'm going to um, state and write down to myself, I am speaking Chinese or I speak Chinese fluently and effortlessly um, by the 1st of January 2021 at 2 p.m. So the, the goal being clear, um, it's easier for me to then plan what I'm going to do between today until the 1st of Jan or uh, the 15th of May or whatever is the date that I set for myself. The path is clearer. I know which amount of time I have and then I'm going to go and start to look for tools 
I'm going to go start to look for teachers, for resources, for things that can, that can get me to this goal that I set for myself. This is going to keep me motivated because I have a set date. It's, it's not just like, oh, one day I'm going to be speaking Chinese. Yeah, but this day could be maybe in 30 years from now. So is it what you want? No, you would like to really organize yourself to get this moving, to get this going. Um, so this is very important to set your goal in a positive, affirmative, present tense, uh, present tense and, um, and with a clear date of accomplishment where you can say that, okay, by this day, at this time, this is going to be done. And once uh, this is done, because most of all people, human being, we're very visual uh, people, it is also advised that you would have a kind of um, a board. Um, you can decide of the size of the board that you want and where you would like to, to put it, but preferably somewhere that you can look at every single day, especially in the morning and the evening. A board uh, with pictures of the things that you want to accomplish, of the things that you want to have, of the things that you want to become, of the things that you want to get. Um, visually, it doesn't really matter the, the time frame. You could have things that are displayed on the short term, medium, medium term and long term. It's really up to you. But the important thing would be to really visualize these things. Um, so when you look at it in the morning, when your brain is fresh and open and at night, just before going to bed and to, to dreaming, uh, you, can visualize, you can visualize these things. You can see them in front of you and picture yourself in them. And this is going to make your subconscious work on them. The subconscious work very well on positive affirmations and on anything that's, that's visual. So um, this is going to help you uh, reach this goal faster if with a lot of gratitude, a lot of love and as a feeling of accomplishment that you're already there, that you already get these things, um, you will get there faster and it's going to keep you motivated. The days that this motivation uh, leaves you for some reason because you woke up uh, not really in the mood or you're tired or uh, whatever is the reason why you would be a day or two um, not really motivated, these images, these affirmations will really uh, bring back this motivation. It will, it will lit up the fire a little bit inside yourself so you can keep on moving. And I would like to go back to the, um, to the, quotes, uh, to the quotation that I started this video with. That is that motivation will get you started and action habits will keep you going. Because if you want to reach something, let's say learning a new language or reaching a certain weight or whatever it is that you would like to achieve, if you do it consistently every single day as, as a very intense discipline moment, it could be for 20 minutes, half an hour, but if it's regular every single day, the day you feel a little bit less motivated, the day you feel a little bit less like, oh, I feel lazy today, I don't really want to do that, the habit will kick in and will get you started. And you will do the half an hour, you will do the, an hour, the one hour, you will do whatever, because your body is used to it like a machine, subconsciously it's just gonna go. It's just gonna ask for it. You just need to get into the habit, even the days where you feel a little bit less like going to the gym or opening your books or doing whatever you plan for yourself. You can look at the picture, you can read your affirmation saying, yeah, I have this deadline, I have this time by which I want to be finished. But you also have the habit, the habit of doing this every single day. So if, if you don't do it one day, it's like something is missing, something is wrong. You feel that, 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 that you need to do it, otherwise there will be something really that's awkward today. So um, that's the, the few advice that I would like to give you today. If you have goals and dreams, it's beautiful because then you can really enrich your life. It could be very small things. It could be very big things. It could be whatever your heart is telling you to go for. Um, this can really bring a lot of colors to your life. So I would advise whatever is your age, wherever you are in the world, uh, wherever you look, you're watching me from, have goals. 
uh, because it's beautiful the, the feeling of accomplishment and especially the journey the journey to reach there you will learn so much about yourself you will learn so much about your own capacities you will learn so much about the world around you that um, even if you don't exactly accomplish what you wanted or even if the goal move a little bit from what it was initially you will still um, really learn a lot on the way that's why I would advise um, everyone that's watching right now to draw a quick list of all the things you would like to have to be to become um, in the next I don't know let's say two years and uh, what you'd like to experience and just to start dreaming about it and then start uh, actually plan a timeline and start to work on the different things that we've um, discussed today um, that's beautiful this is all I wish for you to have a very beautiful uh, list of dreams and goals and go catch them good luck thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful day see you